Hello everybody, it's Dragana from Sasebo. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I was just inspired the other day uh, to do something nautical. I had some uh, six by six papers that I didn't use and I sort of liked the colors. And I was looking at them and I thought, oh, maybe I can make something for a nautical theme journal that I'm planning to do if I have time uh, this summer. And I recently watched a video by uh, Tracy Fox where she used her envelope punch board to make uh, ephemera, like not just envelopes, but also tags and other bits and pieces, slides and things like that. And I thought, yeah, I want to make some tags with those papers, but I want to make them in that bone shaped so that I can uh, wrap some uh, ribbon around as well, because... I am not only showing you how to make these tags, I will show you how to make a ribbon that is kind of custom made. All you need is some permanent ink and some stamps and also a piece of fabric. I'll just give you an example here of one of those ribbons. Here you go. This is a nautical style one. I used just a piece of silk and I stamped with the gray ink. I should have used perhaps black, it would stand out more, but with gray is not bad, it's kind of just a bit more subtle. And I tea stained this silk uh, beforehand. And that's the tag. So the way I imagine this tag is, you know, with a bit of ribbon that is hand stamped like that. And I just use one of those bulk pins, a charm, and like that. And it can go in a journal as a little gift. It can be sent in happy mail if you're selling uh, fabrics and ephemera pieces, journal making kits. You can make your own. Uh, ribbon like this and make your own uh, tag to wrap it around and I think it would look really cute. You can make the end bits, uh, you know, different. You can have fun. You can have them straight like this or you can have rounded edges if you have uh, some corner punches like I used here or you can just have them rounded or even like that. I really like those with this wavy shape down the bottom or just like standard um, you know just rounded spool looking type tags and after i've done all of these i just had so much fun i thought oh maybe i can just do a few more for other journals not just for nautical style i'll just put these away and then i'll show you but i thought they were just so cute and of course, you can make these just for yourself, you know, to store your ribbons and laces neatly. Okay, and then I made a few of the big ones, but I just had fun with these corner punches here. I recently bought this one, so I just can't stop now. <laughs> I made this one to hold like two different laces this one can hold three of them and this one can hold one that is really wide and here i just punched out a flower and use that you know just as a little something to hold this pin another way of ending it uh would be with say a piece of uh, string with one of these pins safety pins i've shown you the ones with the charm and the bulb pin or just you know to tuck it underneath itself okay so let's start by making the tags first and then we'll do the ribbon to make the tags I used six by six papers that I basically just fold in half and glued together. This is one sided paper, so 
I need to get rid of that white and it's not thick enough on its own so it's best to just glue it together and I've done a couple here let's just do one used glue stick there and basically just glued it together okay simple as that okay so i have four papers that are folded and glued together and now for the big one i need um, a full size like that and i'll leave two of them so that I can show you the one with two um, places for the ribbon as well. Now for the smaller ones like these, we need to cut this in half. And for the smallest ones, we need to cut in three. Okay, so we'll just make some marks. Maybe we can make this like that. Just grab my pencil. So if this is six inches, we need to cut it half in three by three inches. Okay, you can use this, your scissors, you can use your trimmer. Oh, this is just so much easier for me. Okay, so this is for, for these ones. Now for these ones, we need to cut three by two. So we're going to make some markings here at two inches just like that okay let's put these ones and this is for these ones. Okay. I can put this aside now and I'll get my punch board. Alright, let's try making some of these. The the most simple one is would be this shape. Straight, straight out with that. So you take your paper it doesn't matter which side because this is already three by three it's the same on all sides and you want to put it underneath and align your paper here just with this thing just there so that would be at one inch and you just press and then you turn it around and you do the same you press now you flip it this way and again you align it here press and then here press and you end up with this okay so let's do the same with this one you can certainly use your scissors to cut this but i don't want to bend the paper I like this to be neat so for me this is a better way of doing it but you can certainly do it with scissors just cut off that little bit just like that and that's already that shape okay Right. and then here you can see we have rounded edges let's do that so I basically took it here and press there we go. so 
but they are the two basic shapes with the straight corners or with rounded corners whichever one you like better now to get this i took this side see here and again i lined it up if you can see again i lined up this line with this and just pressed just like that and then turn and then again i made sure that is and there it is now we have that wavy line like this and you can certainly do that at the top as well you'll end up with the tag that's looking like this we kind of like it as well or just down the bottom so you can vary these things and then all you need to do is just ink the edges Simple as that. That is very quickly done, I think. And then you just use the, that same one as a guide to punch in the other ones. And of course, you need to ink the edges around as well. But I won't do it now. Do it later. Okay, so that's the small ones done. These ones. Okay, so now let's do the, the really tiny ones. We cut them in uh, two by three. And again, we do the same thing. We line this up here. This line. I hope you can see. With that line. We're always using that as the starting and then we flip it again we line up this and that one there okay let's just do the other ones as well cut these again Maybe we can leave that one like that. We will round the corners on, on this one. And then on this one, let's do. Uh, did I put a sample here? No. Like that. That's really cute. So we'll do again. Line up this side. Then flip it. Line again just to extend it. And then you can either leave it like that. You see how it's kind of like a fishtail. Or you can round it up here. I think it's really cute and then we can round up these as well okay so we have this again i think it's really really quick and then here you find the needle put a hole and then we use it to mark the rest and you can make these different sizes as well. It doesn't have to be with the six by six papers. It can be with your digitals. With any scrap paper, with just craft paper. And they don't have to be this size. You can basically do them whatever size you like. But I'm just giving you here options of what you can do and how you can have them uh, finished. Okay, so we're left with the large ones now these ones here i left this a little bit bigger okay on these ones here i used the same distance as i did with these so it's really up to you 
if you want to have a long place here for the for a wide ribbon you go uh, smaller but if you don't if you just want it more like a tag that you're going to put in a journal and you want this piece to be like that or perhaps you want this to be on top and the rest be like a tag you can do that as well so it all depends what you need so i think uh, let's make one that it's like this first in that case you would line it up with this line like this and then you flip it and you this is what you end up with so to get this one you would cut off that bit okay but if you want to have two separate separated uh, with this bit or three you will have to make these notches here as well for example let's just do like this we won't do another one like that we'll just do this one Okay, so you'll have to find at, I'm thinking, I think I used two, two and one quarter, and then I pressed, did I? Let me just check. I've done this last night and I've forgotten. used two and one quarter yep. and then we press again two and one quarter and we press then you turn it this way again two and one quarter and we press and here two and one quarter and press and you end up with this let's see I might have left a little bit more here but that's fine it doesn't have to be the same every time and you can always go and adjust so we now cut here and we cut here and we leave this And that's the one that has enough room to do two ribbons that are that width. If you think this part here is should be smaller, you can always go back. And if we did two and a quarter last time, we can move it up a little bit more onto this side. So instead of two and one quarter, you can do two and a half or even less like this. But I think I want to leave it like this. It kind of looks all right. Okay, so that's that one. Now, if you want to have these uh, fancy edges like these, I think they're really cute. You'll need a punch uh, that has the decorative corners. You have to do this before you cut that bit off. Otherwise, it's going to uh, not look good. So let's do one with the decorative corners like that. We'll just do the corners first. But they are a little bit lost on this paper, but it's all right. Okay, so you first do that then you do the rest now let's do this one the same as that one okay and i think if i'm not mistaken i did not line this up here i lined it up with this line here which is two and one eight of an eight. let me just check 
no actually it was two and it was two actually it was two let's see let's yeah. okay we'll line it up with this line here which is two inches so we're looking at that line not this one because we cut off that corner So we're looking at this one. Okay. Like so. And then we cut off this bit here. it is and then we find the middle puncture and then we use it to trace this one So we have two large ones, we have three smaller ones, and we have the middle size of the squarish looking ones. Okay, so now we have enough tags. Let's make some ribbon. I have here this piece of linen, a strip that I tea dyed, so it's a little bit pink. And again, I want to make this really like a, a nautical theme uh, ribbon. I will tear it up later on into thinner strips, but it's much easier to stamp while it's still in one piece like this. You need some permanent ink. I'm going to use this. I know it's a small one, but that's all right. Black soot. Uh, I used hickory smoke on the one that I've shown you earlier, and there is ground espresso. Actually, I want to use ground espresso. I think brown would look really good on this fabric. Okay, now I have a selection of stamps. I have some script here. I have a little shell. This is like a compass, a globe. This is actually a different stamp, but I glued the silicon one on this side. And here I also have some like ink splotches and some. Uh, pen with a feather. Oh, I can't think of the name now. All right, so the way I do these strips is I select one of the stamps. So I'll just go with this one first and I'll just apply the ink. And I'll just go like that. First in one direction, maybe like that. You want to space them out. And you want some that are, are not finishing up with, within the fabric. You want sort of like that. Let's see what I mean? I think these would be good, for example, to make a um, ribbon like this in Christmas theme, or nature theme, or, you know, all different themes that you can think of, and also make tags in those colors that suit your theme. I think that would be awesome. Okay, so we have that. Now we want to have this same, but maybe, you see how the first time around I was doing this, so it was all this. Now I'm going to turn it like that. And I want 
really line it up with this or just go like that somehow in the middle but a little bit off okay like that so that it's in all different directions I don't know. I mean, you can just go and crazy and just stamp whatever. You can also do that. It would be totally fine. I think that's enough with the script. Just stamp that off. Now I want to maybe add some of this and I'm thinking if the text is going that way I can have it like that next to the text. different areas and different orientation as well used that one because it's round okay. put it anywhere you don't have to worry about the orientation <laughs> done with that one as well okay, let me take this one off and I have this which is like an ink splatter okay I like it so maybe next to the text somewhere especially where the text is kind of not really printed well or if we have an empty area like that it's probably enough now we have this one circle so mm. it should ideally go over this like that and now we have this one this block is a little bit too small for this. Let's use the bigger one. All right, where can we have this one?
okay that is it i will just I think that's plenty. Let's look at our fabric. I think it's gorgeous. Now, how thick our strips should be. So it seems to be that these are a little bit wider than these. Is about the same width and this is the widest one let's do one for this so what i do i place this there and here and just make a little cut i think that's gorgeous and it's really really pretty can even sell them like this or just you know put in a journal as a little gift in a happy mail i think they're really cute okay there's that one now let's see here this one it's a bit thinner so let's see here I have some that I've done here earlier. Just this one with words. Yeah, I think that can go there. And this can go here. Isn't that a great little gift? You can use these uh, ribbons later on to make ruffles, decorate your journals, to make closures. So let's make some for here. And because these are smaller, I think we can just cut them in half our neighbors have a puppy who comes close to the fence and wants to play with my dogs but they don't like him they're just you know really territorial and poor doggies barking all the time trying to get their attention feel bad for him he must be lonely okay that's cute isn't it let's see now this one is a little bit wide Have this one and it's actually really perfect to make little because it's narrow you can make these um, tag toppers like this. oh I so want to do a nautical theme journal I think they're looking so cute now for the end bit i quite like this idea with a bulb pin and a little charm i have some charms here that are kind of nautical style and i have some of these bulb pins so let's see maybe turtle one look cute here Maybe here we can 
Oh, I think they're cute and so on. We'll just, just put the rest on camera. I don't want you to look at me struggle. <laughs> okay, let's because I don't have any more of the ribbon that I made. I'll just use the one that I have. I think this one would look cute here. I'll just cut off this bit. And like I said, these don't have to be nautical themed, they can be anything you like. A cute one, and then we have this one. Maybe this it's just a little bit too wide, so we make it. you get the idea. Let's have a look how they can be used in a journal. I think I wanted to put one here. Is it this one or that one? I think I wanted to put that one. I'm gonna be here, this one. Yeah. I like how they look. Look. Especially if you do like a sewing themed journal, I think it would look really great to put one in a journal or send it with a journal. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.